Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll talk about how to make a portable generator quieter for home use and for camping. We all know how important having a generator is these days with the sudden increase of severe weather. The biggest problem most generators have, however, is the high amount of noise they emit. In this video, I'll explain the different ways of how to mitigate this problem and to make your generator quieter. The reason why small engines like on generators or air compressors are much louder than a big motor used on automobiles is simple. An automotive engine is made of thick and heavy material pressurized high volume oil system. They are liquid cooled so the engine does not overheat. Small engines on the other hand are made from lightweight thinner material that is splashed oiled and air cooled. The small engine companies could build much quieter engines, but they would have to make them thick and heavy. I'm not sure how many people would want to be pushing around a 800 pound lawnmower or lugging around a generator with that amount of weight. So I've compiled 10 of the best tips I could think of to make a generator quiet for camping and for home use. Number one, build a generator quiet enclosure. Building a quiet generator box is one of the best ways to help make your generator quieter. What is also standard with having a quiet enclosure for a generator is that you can also use it to make an air compressor quieter as well, since we all know how loud an average air compressor can be. So make sure to make your sound box big enough to be able to accommodate other loud appliances. Here are some steps you will have to follow to build a generator quiet box. First, you will need to make the proper measurements. You certainly do not want any air gaps letting noise out of the enclosure. Leaving even a tiny hole will defeat the purpose of the sound box entirely. Make sure to leave just enough space for the sound isolation that you will install inside all of the four walls and ceiling of the box. You will also need to leave enough space for the ventilation equipment. Cut out some medium density fiberboard, also known as MDX, as per your dimensions, utilizing a circular or table saw. The first layer should be mass loading vinyl. There is also a second layer of soundproof material to attach inside the enclosure. All the information and a complete guide on how to build the sound box can be found by clicking a link in the description below to an article on our website. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to our channel. And also feel free to leave a comment, I would love to hear your feedback and also your questions that I would do my very best to answer. Thank you. Number 2. Simply buy a zombie box portable soundproof enclosure. Zombie box is a soundproof enclosure that is weatherproof and portable. A zombie box will make your generator much quieter when using your generator while on a camping trip. What is also nice about this box is that it's collapsible for easy storage. The zombie box will reduce the noise from your generator by up to 5 times or 99% as claimed on their website. I have never had a zombie box but I am planning to get one someday soon. Keep checking our YouTube channel for a full review when it becomes available. Number 3. Muffling generator noise with a plywood board. One of the fastest and cheapest ways to decrease your generator's decibel level is by shielding the noise using sheets of plywood. By setting sheets of plywood around the generator, you can reduce the noise level by at least 10 decibels. Being able to decrease the noise of the generator by 10 decibel will make it much more tolerable in a neighborhood environment. To be able to accomplish this task, you will need a few sheets of plywood. Even plywood scraps that are large enough to extend past the generator would work. You will then lay them against the generator in the shape of an enclosure box. This makeshift plywood enclosure, the shape of an A-frame, will deflect the generator's noise towards the ground. This provides the noise to be held and absorbed into the ground rather than towards your surroundings. Number 3. Car Muffler so first does a car muffler work on a generator well i see so many soundproofing websites that claim that an automobile muffler will act as a magical silencer for your generator well guess what they don't always do the trick 
and the people claiming otherwise are apparently never tried it themselves. At first, I thought there might be some validity to this claim. A lot of people were suggesting that a car muffler could be attached on a generator to make it quieter. So I did a bit of digging, and here's what I found. I first went and talked to one of my friends that is currently working on automotive exhaust systems for the past 27 years. He has also done some small engine repairs on many generators. I figured he would be the best person that I know to ask these types of questions. I asked him if a car muffler on a generator can work as a silencer to make the generator quieter. He responded that generally most of the noise you will hear from a generator is from the motor and various rotating parts. He said that all you need to do before wasting your time going to the scrapyard and attaching a second muffler on the generator is first to put a thick leather glove so you don't burn yourself. Grab an old rag and hold it over the muffler outlet of the generator. Wait a few seconds and see if you hear any difference in noise. There probably won't be a bit of difference regarding noise unless the muffler is toast and not actually working the way it is supposed to. He ended the conversation by advising me to build or buy an enclosure for the generator like I previously talked about. He just told me to tell people to make sure they have enough airflow so the generator does not overheat. So that was his opinion, but let's say you do hear a difference in the amount of noise the generator makes when you're holding the rag on the end of the muffler. Now it's time to try a car muffler. The worst thing that could happen is that it doesn't make enough of a difference and you just simply return the automotive muffler and call it a day. Make sure you measure the muffler's exhaust tip so the vehicle muffler fits without leaving any gaps. If there are gaps where noise can leak out, it will make the new muffler useless. Attaching a bigger muffler is not that difficult. All you need is a few tools, clamps, and an exhaust tubing. Of course, welding the correct piping that initially came with the muffler would work better. But you shouldn't have any problems if you can make the connections between the two mufflers tight enough so there are no gaps. Give it a try and let me know in the comment section below how it worked out for you. The next one is have the generator exhaust pipe facing away from your home. If it proves too challenging to move the generator farther away from your house, there are still ways to keep some of the noise level down. One easy trick is to have the exhaust pipe which in some cases can be the principal cause of the noise facing away from your house. As you can probably picture in your mind, sound waves created from noise will travel towards the direction it's facing. Making the sound waves travel away from your home can make a significant difference when comparing having the exhaust pointing directly towards your home. Next step is either set the generator away from your home or simply place it in a storage shed. We all know that the farther you are from the source of the noise, the less you will hear it. So use the same common sense approach with a noisy generator. Distancing yourself from the generator is easy if you live in a rural area. The homes are not as close to one another as they would be in a urban setting. A common generator will produce between 70 and 80 decibels at 20 feet away. 80 decibels is certainly loud enough for you to hear the noise quite well. By using a long extension cord, you will be able to move the generator farther away from your home. Better yet, if you have a detached garage or a storage shed, you could move the generator and place it behind one of these buildings. If your extension cord is long enough to do this, you should be very satisfied with the results. You can also place it directly in the storage shed. Again, if you have a long extension cord, or if the storage shed is close enough to your home, you could place it in there. There are two things you will need to consider when doing this, the echo and the fumes. Number one, the echo. If you have the generator in a relatively empty shed, then there would be a significant amount of echo caused by the noise waves bouncing around on the empty walls inside. One trick to avoid the echo is to place some acoustic panels on the walls and ceiling inside the shed. This way the noise won't echo and it's an inexpensive way to make use of an oversized sound box. Another thing to consider is heat. I for one never really concerned myself with an overheating generator since I live on the very eastern edge of Canada and it is usually well below freezing 
when the power goes out due to a snow or ice storm. If you concern yourself with overheating, you could easily place a fan inside the shed to keep the generator cool. You can find battery powered fans online at a reasonable price. And finally, the last thing to consider is fumes. My small storage shed has two small round vents on each end of the building. The vents are approximately 6 inches in diameter and I would think this would be enough to take care of any fumes issue from the generator. If you don't have any type of ventilation, you can attach a muffler type hose on the end of the existing muffler and have it come out of the barn either from a small opening of the door or better yet a hole in the wall specifically made for this pipe. You can always seal the hole with a thick piece of rubber and reuse the hole whenever you need to run the generator. Next thing you can do to make your generator quieter is use a sound absorbing mat. All of the loud noise coming from the generator doesn't come from the motor and the moving parts. There can also be noise coming from the vibration of the generator. Place the generator on top of a thick piece of sound absorbing mat so the vibration can be absorbed and hopefully bring the noise level down a couple of notches. A sound absorbing mat is what I use to make my pool pump run much quieter compared to when it was sitting on top of a cement block. You can find all the information as to what I did to reduce my pool pump noise by clicking a link in the description below of a full article on our website. Next is replace the generator's muffler if faulty. If you're stuck with an older generator that sounds a lot louder than it used to, then you might have a faulty muffler. Bring your generator to a small engine mechanic to see if you need to change the muffler. There might also be something wrong with the engine itself making the generator louder than it should be when properly working. If you only have a cheap generator, then this might not be worth the money. But some generators can be worth thousands of dollars and having a few parts replaced might be the best idea to fix this particular problem. And last but not least, install a generator silencer. I've mentioned different types of silencers before and some do work as described. So I did a bit of digging and tried to find the same type of silencer that would be specifically made for a portable generator. There are a few on Amazon that I saw other people recommending online but from what I read on the review section of the product on Amazon I won't even mention that piece of junk. There are a couple of generator silencers that I did find that might help to mediate some of the noise. The silencer that I will talk about is from Gen Silencer. Gen Silencer makes generator silencers for a wide range of generator sizes and brands. I could link an Amazon link, but it will be much easier for you if you go directly on their website and find the silencer that will perfectly fit your generator. The silencers from Gen Silencer are easy to install and have a matte black finish. A good reason to go with these silencers is that they provide a one year warranty and a 30 day money back guarantee. If you don't hear any difference before and after installation, you can send it back. I'll have a link to their website in the description below. So to conclude, my best advice would be to buy the quietest generator you can find if the noise level will be your primary concern. Trying to figure out how to solve a noise problem that could have been avoided seems a bit pointless. It is true, however, that the quietest generators are the new type of inverter generators. Inverter generators are pricier compared to a conventional portable generator. If you need a quiet generator for camping, I would suggest the Honda EU2000i. This generator is rated the best small portable generator out there according to Amazon. The pros are that it runs extremely quiet. It only weighs 46 pounds when empty, making it easy to move around a campsite. Honda's EU2000i generator also has excellent performance as it will run approximately 8 hours on 1 gallon of fuel, meaning you won't have to stock a lot of gasoline in the RV. The only con I would have to say about this generator is the fact that it only offers 2000 watts. If you're interested to find out my top picks on 2000 watt generators and also 3000 watt generators, I'll have links in the description below of my articles on the website and also videos I've made on YouTube that you can go visit at your leisure. Let me know in the comment section if you tried any of these tips to make a generator quieter. Thank you very much for watching and like I said before, consider subscribing to our channel if you like this type of content. 
And also, don't forget to visit our website at soundproofguide.com. Thank you.